Wrap the uh, rag around it for safety. Push that into the line, push the line towards it. There you go, sprays it right in your face. <laughs> y'all so we got a new partner so advanced fuel dynamics is coming on board uh, we're gonna throw a little e85 in this uh, they have an insane system that basically is just plug-and-play flex fuel so we're gonna throw this thing on the dyno get some uh, some baseline power readings and typically you don't need to make any adjustments it's plug-and-play and you just automatically gain horsepower because uh, ethanol makes more power we are not experiencing horsepower weather it's uh, hot and sticky so don't judge the numbers but judge gains i'm ryan truex i am the founder and ceo of advanced fuel dynamics um, we have developed uh, flex fuel solutions for most anything uh, from high performance cars race cars uh, to daily drivers um, we developed the system for performance use so you can make more horsepower with E85 without having to worry about having a tune just for E85. It allows you to run gas or any blend of ethanol you would like, uh, which makes it so that you can drive your car anywhere you want and not have to carry a drum around with you. Uh, so this is our uh, shop project. It's our C6 Z06. Um, everything is built on it. Um, obviously flex fuel because that's what we do. We run everything on E85. Um, we're building this car uh, for the one lap of America, so we want to be able to drive it across the country and compete at all kinds of events with it. Um, and so with that, we're going to have to run on gasoline at some point because there is an E85 at every gas station as we know. So we'll be able to switch seamlessly with the setup on this car so we don't have to worry about it or how much ethanol is in the E85. All right, we're going to show you some of the products. Uh, so this is our FlexLink product. We are using this on uh, Mike's car right now. So this product is basically an ethanol gauge uh, over Bluetooth. So it'll transmit your ethanol content to your phone. So if you're running an E85 tune, you can add this in to see your content. Yeah, here's one of the uh, GM sensors right here. That's common with those. What we also have for the FlexLink system is we have the wiring that plugs directly into your FlexFuel Ready GM vehicle. Um, so some Corvettes and Camaros and whatnot have uh, flex fuel capability in the ECU, so this will allow you to turn that on and use this. This here is for our commander systems, which is plug and play flex fuel uh, for Corvettes, Camaros, Mustangs, um, all your Mopar products. And this will allow you to have run flex fuel without any tuning. Um, it's just plug and play. Um, also over here, we have our DX module. This is our direct injection controller. So right now, currently we use these on some private level uh, label stuff. And then we also use these on the newer Mustangs that have both port and direct injection. Um, and then over here, we actually have our own sensor that we've been developing. So most people are familiar with the GM sensor. Uh, this sensor has much greater flow, a little hard to see with the lighting there, but basically we can flow up to dash 12 with no restrictions, unlike the GM sensor is uh, very restrictive. It was honestly designed for an Impala. Um, and so we have all the different kinds of fittings uh, for it. So all the quick connects and any style AN fitting you would want. So it can integrate easily into whatever you're running. So for gasoline, this is our graph for air fuel ratio right here. So in a lab or theoretically, the perfect burn is at 14.7 to one for pure gasoline. Um, and so that's too lean for under load. So I can tell this tune was set at 13 to one is what it's targeting. That's what the tuner to tune this wanted it to run at. So if we look at our graph, we can see down here, or. It's about 12.6. It gets a little richer down towards the end, which is pretty safe. That's that's really good, actually, air fuel ratio. But if we look at the beginning of our run, 
it's way too lean. It's 14 to one or leaner, and this is at wide open run. So this part of his map, we need to adjust. There's a few things we can adjust. So in his tune, that target looks great. That's safe, it's gonna make power. This, you can actually hear it when I start this kind of, there's not enough fuel for it to really complete that burn. It could actually be pre-ignited, and I'll look in the log, but that can actually cause it to ping or knock, which is destructive to the engine. This engine has sensors for that. So if we look at it, it's got a bunch of knock in there. The computer is actually gonna pull ignition timing to try and save itself. It's not really and then that probably went away as it fattened up. So we'll look back at the log and see what we can find. And there's something simple, the way these ECUs work. This actually could be a time delay. For emissions reasons, they built a time delay in there. So you floor it, it waits a while to give you the fuel. The tuner could have just forgot to delete that because if you should floor it, it should go right to your target. So hopefully that's all it is and we can fix it. <laughs>
going to LS Fest. Let's go! What are we about to do? What are we getting ready? It's time to go practice. So we're gonna go see how this thing works out there with some more horsepower thanks to E85, advanced fuel dynamics. 